London. No? Anyone? Only joking, it's Georgia here for SBTV, where we're accessing all areas. And these guys, unfortunately, haven't come to see me, although I do have a very good voice. Ah, But Wretch32 on his sellout tour right here in Coco at London. He's joined by Loic Essien, Sincere, Scorcher, Teasy and Duchess. Let's go see what they're up to. Don't know where you come from, where? but you're everywhere I go. Oh, yeah. I don't know why you chose me, why me? Why me? but as long as you're here, I don't need to know. So don't go. See, when I got introduced to ya, <laughs> I knew I'd be true to ya. And everyone wanted a piece. She whispered to me that it's sweet, cause it's me you love. Yeah. We are, of course, backstage on the Wretch tour. How are you doing? We're doing great. We're yeah. so excited. This is London, Coco. You can't get much better than that. So uh, this is the highlight for us, I think. And how's the tour been so far? It's been really good. We've been travelling all over nationwide. And yeah, I just we don't like the drive, like sitting in a car for six hours. Yeah. <laughs> Glasgow. <laughs> yeah, but it was, it's been great. Who's in the People don't know Rich has been around for ages, so it's like it's really nice when you see somebody that's been on the grind, you know, putting all that work into their career, you know, make it to headlining at Coco mm -hmm. Camden. You can't really get much better. We've got a lot of respect for him. We, we have learned a lot. Boom your air with me, Scorch Sky. Big up SPTV, Triple A. We're backstage on Rich v 2s Black and White Tour. Hello, Scorcher. What's going on? Hello. How are we? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Now we're just chilling, obviously, backstage at Rich's Tour. You told me this area particularly was yours. Why is that? Because the drinks are in there. Oh, I see. I occupy this area mm. where the, the drinks are. How about Rich? Has he passed on any wisdom to you over the course? He's been, he's just, he's just been a, um, a professional, mm -hmm. doing everything as it needs to be done and better. Yeah. So it's, it brings me out in his set, which is quite nice as well, yeah. man. I think he's a bit of a surprise for the, the crowd because he yeah. don't necessarily expect it. So mm. it's nice. How do you think he's managed to kind of like maintain so much respect from the fans coming from the underground and then smashing up the mainstream charts, which not a lot of people can do? I think like. When you get to a certain platform, if you're still making good music, then you know you're you're, you're not asking for respect. You're commanding it. Oh, I do one more thing. Kid, you done me. Big up my brother Kano in the ass. Yo, yeah, it's Kano, and you're watching SBTV, and I'm backstage at Rich concert. You done now? Peace. So I mean, wait. Yeah, it's light, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's coming through with that. Same challenge as my kick. Alright, do you know what I need to do? For my own peace of mind, I need something that don't have as much drums. Either anniversary or oh, please don't let me go. It's like a, it's like a, uh, yeah. It's fucked up, man. It's fucked up! <laughs> <laughs> Face. No. Trying to work out. Oh, watch it, watch it. Yeah, play, man. Yeah. SP TV, yeah. Wretch is persistent and his music's always been consistent. And then even for someone like me, that he's a singer, like I, I take that same attitude with my music as well. And I think no one can ever say like he's ever slacked. He's always been one of like the top. MCs and yeah. I think he is one of them now yeah. and it's about time yeah. that people started seeing that so I'm not surprised man.
Off stage, he absolutely killed it. Yo, Rich, how are you? I'm good. It was absolutely mental. Everyone yeah. was kind of dubious, like London's gonna be yeah. reserved. And how does it feel to see all those guys just singing your lyrics back to you? It's weird, man. It's so weird, and and I don't. I, I could never get used to this. Yeah. You know, it's it's, it's always overwhelming because you know how this industry is. One day you're here, and the next day you're not. And to be honest, I, I just want to be relevant. So when yeah. when I'm starting off here on my first tour. I'm just like, I hope I progress. You've managed to kind of like maintain the respect of the underground scene while sort of going more mainstream. How do you think you've done it when others have it? I think, honestly, I've just can continue to do what I've always been doing. Mm -hmm. And now we've got the resources to push it further. I want to start working on the next album. We're still pushing the legs out of this album. Um, and, you know, I'm just having fun, man. Spend some time with the kids and, yeah. and just get to work, man. Please tell me that you're going to be celebrating big time tonight, yeah? Possibly. I think we might... Possibly? Possibly. No, no, I, I don't no, know I believe you. At Norwich, because Norwich is the last date. Okay. So I might just try and kill everyone. I don't mean literally don't... Oh, really? Should I? Should I? Is that way? You've like, got you blood on your hands? This is how we kill you. Yeah. Drink, drink, drink. Oh, okay. Sneeze, sneeze. On the floor. Sleep, sleep. Uh, uh, what happened when I see you tomorrow? What happened yesterday? That means uh, you're dead. Okay. But I feel like between the drink and the sleep, there might be a bit of shaking. Yeah, well, yeah, possibly. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, Depends yeah. how much. Woo! Before that. Before mm. that. Yeah. Care to join us? No, we have to do it now. Oh, come right. on. Oh, come oh, on. Oh. Whenever it's my gig, I'm really professional. I stretch, innit? Oh, really? Because oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I learned how to be like this. Oh, really? When we was on tour, like, I never got drunk, innit? Like, when, think of one time I was maybe drunk, like even slightly. Would you say sober as a judge was a phrase that applied to you then? Sober as a judge, I don't know many judges. Did you learn anything from going on Examples tour that you applied on your tour? Yeah. Like? Always, yeah. always do a sound check. 
Always a sunburn. <laughs> Let's talk about the arena tour, yeah? Yes, Let's. Right oh, yeah? Because that is the next thing. Mm -hmm. You're going to go in. He's got an arena tour. Uh, no, I'll be supporting. Well, yeah. We've got an arena tour. Care to uh, fill a sister in? Fill a sister. Fill, you want me to fill a sister in? I would like you to fill me in about the tour. About the tour, please. Right. Please, none of that. None of that. Oh yeah, look who it is. Can't take you anywhere. Here's another one. Oh dear, here comes trouble. I remember when I met met you at Wireless a couple of years ago, and Wretch came on tour with you. Now, obviously, he's selling out Coco. How how's it feel to see him? Um, you know what, like, the best way to describe it is uh, once I came off, I was in the balcony and I took a picture on my phone, yeah, just like a fan, you know what I mean? No one else has their phones out, everyone thinks they're too stush. But I took my phone out, I took a picture, I cherished the moment, I put it on my BB, I'm not going to be cringe and send it to him, but hopefully he just takes yeah. it off mine. Do you know what I've realised here? It's been a tonight chat and so many artists, like so many amazing people, that like, everyone's a fan of just everyone. It's the best yeah. thing about this, yeah. there's no egos, no one's hit, no one's, like, there's people, you know, like, just started, there's people who are, like, number ones, there's people like, you know, all sorts of people on different levels and no one's at ego. Everyone's just like, love everyone what you're doing. Everyone, yeah. Let's do it. Everyone is just like, let's do a tune. It's really beautiful. It, I think what it is, the best way to describe it is that we all thoroughly appreciate each other's abilities. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because and I think hard work, if you like, hard work, ability and all the things that make you like a, a artist, you know, I think if you took away Coco, you took away Examples Arena Tour, you took away all of our number ones, you took away everything and we just went studio, we'd enjoy each other's yeah. Yeah. artistry. Yeah, 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 definitely. Sick, sick. It's inspirational, actually. I'm not just like, no, you know what I mean? That sounds like, it's it sounds like a achievement. No, 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 no. It sounds like. How many beers have you had? It's, no, no, I've had a lot. But this is when the truth comes out. It sounds like a cheap and easy thing to say, but yeah. you, know, you hang around with these people, and like sometimes it's like for me as well. Also, I meet up and coming artists. It reminds me of like where I was and like how hungry I was then, yeah. like maybe say three, four years ago, and then it makes me even hungrier now. Yeah, so like, so you just feed off each other's energies. I really respect the way kind of like say it just goes out out the window. You know what I mean? All you guys yeah, like jump. Man, it's just. Like, just out. He's got an ego. Is he? I know this guy. I like. Isn't he? Isn't? It's a bloody show off, isn't it? That's for the free. It's all about you. Well, uh, let you go get your lemonade on. Thank you so much for joining me, fellas. And I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. Ta-ta. Yeah, but.